I want you to go to the theme in a sense. I'll share with you a very interesting story for anacardium. Patients from UK clinic. He was a man in his, he was a young teenager. So he was 16, 17 years old, right? And he was constantly, his parents were both conventional gynecologists. So they were, you know, like fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons. So they're quite established physicians, right? And this young boy growing up in urban London. And he was constantly pressurized to perform. You know, he was constantly that you have to be a doctor, you have to be a conventional doctor, you have to be good at your academics, you have to constantly do well. You understand what I mean? So there's a constant pressure. I think so, yes. So constantly pressurized that you have to do this, do this, do this, you have to be successful. So that was in the background. So constantly there was that pressure to perform. And now this young boy who's 16 year old, he had low self-confidence. Not because he was pressurized, but in general, he had low self-confidence in himself. So in anacardium, the thing is there is always duality. And for this young boy, the duality was on one hand, I have low self-confidence. But on the other hand, I have this urge to prove myself. You understand what I mean? He, wanted, he didn't want to let his parents down. So he had low self-confidence on one hand. On the other hand, he had urge to succeed or urge to perform. You understand what I mean? Yes. So he was constantly torn between this tug of war. I can't do it, low self con but I have to do it. I can't do it, I have to do it. I can't do it, I have to do it. You understand what I mean? It was a constant tug of war between that two. Low self-confidence and urge to perform. Yeah. Now what happened in the next stage, whenever he had his a-level exams, GCSE exams in Britain, when it was time for performance, when it was time to deliver, because of this constant fight within himself, at the main stage, at the main time of exam, what happened? His memory crashed. And that's why when you read Anacardia, you will find a word mentioned, sudden loss of memory. When it was exam time, his memory completely blacked out, crash, crashed out. You know, like a system crash, what you get with computers. That's what to me. <laughs> <So> <laughs> that, that was a complete crash with Anacardia, this young boy. So he was 18 and he, his memory failed him. So it was time to perform, he couldn't. Sorry? Bug. Oh, bug, B U G bug, yeah. Bug in the computer. So now, GCSC, he couldn't manage to get the grades. A level, he couldn't manage to get the grades for necessary for being a doctor. But can I ask something? During his class time, he was okay, he was performing fine. Whenever it was the main performance test, the last exam, the main. Main performance test crashed. You understand what I mean? Yes. So stage one, what is stage one? Stage that tug of war. I can't do it, I have to do it. I can't do it, I have to do it. Low self-confidence on one hand, urge to succeed on the other hand. Stage two, whenever the stage comes to perform, breakdown, memory loss, sudden loss of memory. It's not gradual, it's sudden blackout. Sudden loss of memory. Now if you think this young boy who is every time he is trying to achieve, he's failing, he's losing the plot, he's failing, he's losing it. What happens? That leads to stage 3 of anacardium, which is the stage of aggression. He's so frustrated with himself, with his life that whenever I need to perform, I, whenever I need to prove myself, I can't do it. 
and that's when anacardium can be aggressive. You can get a lot of cursing and abusive and swearing in anacardium. Have a look in Borike. There is a very interesting line. Absence of all moral restraint in Borike. You have to understand anacardium in this. And that, that patient, you know, I can never forget anacardium after seeing that patient. Because I saw all the three stages of anacardium in his life. What period of time did you see him? So age 16 to 18, that was the pressure to perform. Yes. 18, 19, there's the exams years, he couldn't do it. Yeah. And 19 to 21, 22, he was absolutely frustrated. That's when they come for, came for the treatment. He was depressed, abusive, shouting. Oh, at that stage, that came in stage. That two. came, yeah. Wow. You got the line, absence of all moral restraint. Sorry. Yes, the last Got that? Yes. Absence of all moral restraint. You know, the, all the Metromedica's old literature will, find, will, will mention anacardium as they're, they're opposed by two wills, that the good and the bad. Yes, true. But in today's world, you won't find that so often. People telling you that I have devil on one shoulder, I have angel on the other shoulder. Right? It's not possible to find that. The old Metromedica's mentioned that if you read the mind section in Borike, things he, first line, thinks he is possessed of two persons of wills. You got that? Thinks he is possessed of two persons of wills. So he has demon on one shoulder, he has angel on the other shoulder. <coughs> but in today's modern day world, what is the interpretation? The interpretation is this, that on one hand there is low confidence, on the other hand there is a constant urge to prove myself. That's very much. You understand what I mean? And that is the beauty of anacardium. So stage one, you get what? Low self-confidence on one hand, the urge to prove myself. Even in a young, young man who is, who is in his third, tw mid, uh, late 20s, he is working in an IT, IT consultation firm and his boss is an Agzwamika boss. So boss is constantly bullying him. So he has low self-confidence on one hand, but he has the urge to prove himself. I need to prove my boss wrong. I will not quit. I won't quit. I won't quit. You understand what I mean? I won't quit. I want to prove myself. But whenever there is a project presentation, whenever there is a deadline for the project presentation, that day his memory breaks down. Memory crashes. So all that urge to succeed is gone in one day. You understand what I mean? Because the memory fails him on the day when it should support him the most. And that's when they go to stage 3 in anacardium, which is the stage of frustration, the stage of abusive, the stage of cursing. No morality is remaining. They shout, they abuse, they swear. That's stage 3. Because they're frustrated. Because all they wanted to achieve, they haven't been. Because of that tug of war. I can't. I want to. I can't. I want to. That's the thing. You understand what I mean? So that's the interesting part of anacardium. So what did you do? Did you give him anacardium yes, yes. right up to 50M? I think up to 1M to change after that to mm, carcinosin, I think, yes. The carcinosin also has got pressure to perform, mm. right? And how far did you go to the carcinosin? It helped. It didn't come back after that, though. It helped. They didn't continue for much long. So if you look in the mind section, hallucination thinks he is possessed of two persons of wills. You, get, you can get this in schizophrenia as well, where you have the 
you feel like there is devil on one hand, there is angel on the other hand. You with me? Yeah. The nut is heart shaped. Why? Because it's what you want to do. It gives you courage. Because of its courage imparting properties, it gives you strength to the heart. It gives you courage. The anacardium is one of the top medicines whom we call as a cow word. Oh. Cow word. C O W A R D. Cow word. Because they don't have any courage. So it's to give cowards courage. It's give, to give cowards courage. Because you see, they have low self confidence, but they have the urge to succeed. But they cannot be able to succeed because their memory fails them every time. Yes. That's why we call anacardium as courage. And this is heart shaped because. It gives you the courage to the heart. It gives you the strength to perform. Yes. 